Okay, this video is going to help you calculate the maximum amount of 2% lidocaine that you can give to a child patient And you may be asked to do the calculation in milligrams, what the maximum amount is in milligrams, in volume, in milliliters, or in the number of carpules. So let's do this example so everyone can see how we come up with an answer that will fulfill the need if each of these are asked on a test. So for the sake of this example, we're going to start with the 66 pound child. We know that there are 2.2 pounds per kilogram. And so 66 pounds, the way we get this calculation done is 66 pounds divided by 2.2 equals 30 kilograms. So a 66 pound child is actually a 30 kilogram child. So let's just work off of 30 kilograms. Okay, so we also know too that when we're using lidocaine, <clears throat> there's a couple numbers that we should be aware of. One is going to be the maximum dose that we want you to use is going to be 4.4 milligrams per kilogram. You just have to remember this. Okay, and if it might be on the test, that'll tell you the maximum dose that you can give us 4.4 milligrams per kilogram. And most test questions will. But if that's the case, and they do tell us that it's 4.4 milligrams per kilogram is the max dose, and we have a 30 kilogram child, then what we need to do is multiply 30 kilogram child times 4.4 milligrams per kilogram, and that's going to equal 132 milligrams. So that can be one of your answers right there. If they ask the question for the 66 pound child, what's the maximum number of milligrams that we can give? Then we're going to say it's 132. Now, if they ask the question in the number of carpules, we know that in a carpule of lidocaine, there's going to be 1.8 milliliters. Now, on your carpule, if you hold it in your hand, it'll say 1.7 milliliters. We know that there's about 1.74 milliliters of drug in that carpule. They can guarantee that there's 1.7 milliliters of volume in there, and it's oftentimes just a little bit more. So that why, that's why we're going to use 1.8. So if it's 1.8 milliliters of volume, then we know that in that particular carpule, we have 36 milligrams of lidocaine in that carpule. Now, how do we know that? Well, this is a 2% solution, right? 2% lidocaine is what we're working with in dentistry. And we know that in just a, if it was a 1% solution, there's 10 milligrams per milliliter. And in 1%, if this was a 1.8 milliliter carpule, then we know that there are 18 milligrams of lidocaine in it. But that's not the case. We're not using, in dentistry, we're not using a 1% solution. We're using a 2% solution. So since it's 2%, we've doubled it. Our 18 milligrams goes to 36 milligrams. So in a 2% carpule of lidocaine, there are 36 milligrams of lidocaine in it. So knowing that there is 36 milligrams of lidocaine in a carpule, we can divide 132 milligrams, that's the maximum amount of drug that we can give the 66 pound child, and we can divide it by 36. So 132 divided by 36. So 132 milligrams was the maximum dose. We're trying to figure out the number of carpules. We divide it by 36. And that's going to give us 
six, seven carpules. So that answers the number of carpules that we can give. So we knew the maximum dose in milligrams is 132. We know the maximum number of carpules is 3.67. But what happens if they ask us the question in milliliters? How do we convert this information to milliliters? Well, we just now said that we were going to use 3.67 carpules. But if there's 1.8 milliliters per carpule, then what we're going to do is have to multiply the 3.67 times 1.8. And that's going to give us an answer of 6.6 .6 milliliters. So be prepared to answer any of the questions that are asked regarding maximum dosage of 2% lidocaine in the form of milligrams, milliliters, or number of carpules. So the first thing you'll need to do is when you read the question is look at the answers to see what are they looking for? Which one of those do they want the answer in? If you have any questions, come by my office.